In April 2020, you didn't need to be an economist to know that the U.S. was in a recession. The unemployment rate spiked to 14.7% in April, up from 4.4% in March, as most states closed non-essential businesses to slow the spread of COVID-19. It wasn't until June that the National Bureau of Economic Research officially declared a recession. The question now is, how long do we have to actually endure a recession? No one can predict how long, but understanding the ABCs of recessions can help you navigate your economic uncertainty. This video will explain how long recessions typically last, including what causes recessions, and what to do during a recession, whether you've lost your job or you're lucky enough to still have one. So, how long does a recession last? The National Bureau of Economic Research measures the length of recessions from when the economy peaks to when it bottoms out. Once recovery begins, we're no longer in a recession. The Bureau started tracking the length of recessions in 1857. The shortest one lasted six months in 1980. The longest? 65 months from October 1873 to March 1879. The average recession lasted 17 and a half months. Many economists define recessions as two back-to-back -back quarters of negative growth in gross domestic product. That's the amount of goods and services we produce overall. But the Bureau, which officially determines when a recession begins and ends, also considers factors like the national unemployment rate, retail sales, and personal income. A number of things can cause a recession, from a stock market crash to a housing bubble popping to stay-at-home orders shutting down businesses during a global pandemic. Because each recession is different, it's hard to predict how long it will take to recover. The best case scenario is a V-shaped recovery. That's a quick economic decline followed by a quick rebound to pre-recession levels. A U-shaped recovery is when there's a more gradual recovery after the decline. A W-shaped recovery is a roller coaster ride of two back-to-back -back declines and recoveries. The worst case scenario is an L-shaped recovery. That's a steep economic decline and a very slow recovery. Some economists say the Great Recession had an L-shaped recovery. It officially began in 2007 and ended in 2009, but GDP never recovered to what economists had projected before the Great Recession. And unemployment didn't fully recover until late 2015. This recession could be similar. In July, the Congressional Budget Office predicted that the unemployment rate will not reach pre-recession levels until 2030. While that's bad, the reality is that the impact of a recession depends on your situation. If you're lucky to still have a job during a recession, consider these moves. Commit to saving more money in your emergency fund, even if that means only making minimum debt payments for a while. Also, keep your resume and LinkedIn profile updated. You never know when you may be on the job hunt. If you already have an emergency fund, also make investing a priority. Ignore what the stock market is doing in a given day. The market has historically rebounded. And if you've lost your job, apply for your state's unemployment as soon as you can. Granted, some state unemployment systems can be really difficult to navigate. Don't give up. Apply for a bridge job. That's pretty much any job that can bring in money, even if it's not your field, just to make ends meet for now. And if you're in a position to learn a new skill that will help you land a better job when the economy recovers, do it. No one can say for sure how long a recession lasts. Each one is different. But even when times are tough, remember, recovery will happen. We just don't know when.